Here we're going to talk about the system.io buttons and how you can kind of add and edit one to any of your landing pages. If you'd like to follow along, you can use my link down below where you can either test out system for free or simply use that for easier login access. So here I have a thank you page that already has a button on it so I can kind of show you what it looks like and of course how to just add one from scratch. Let's click on edit page here to get taken to the landing page. All right, so this is just a standard thank you page. And as you see here, we do have this button right here, but if you're not aware of how to add this in the first place, what I'm gonna do is just delete it for you very quickly. And if you look on the side here, we have elements. If you wanna scroll down ever so slightly, we have this finger here that says button. So we wanna click and hold, then drag and drop it underneath wherever we wanna put it. There we go, so we have our button. Let's click on it right here. So this is gonna be important here. So it says action when button is clicked. It can be submit form and submit form is usually something you wanna use if there are like an input field. So it says like, you know, there's an email box and then you say click here. That's gonna be a submit form where they either like make a payment or submit their email so that they can get on a list and so on and so forth. Show pop-up is going to be when they click on this and a pop-up opens up. Usually this happens in a two-step I guess you could say a uh, squeeze page where they says click here, then it drops down, they enter their email. The reason for that is because it's a micro continuity. By clicking on it, they've already taken an action, which means a higher chances of them following through and giving their email. So you can open URL, you can do next step in URL, or you can download file. Open URL is simply gonna be like if you wanna link to somewhere. So let's say we wanna do that. We're gonna go to www, and disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL, they have plenty of it, okay? Uh, I would say open in a new window, I always think that's best, as I click on same window, because uh, that means it's gonna open up in a new tab, and if there's still something that you wanna have your you know, traffic stay on, that's a good thing. If you do it in a, in a same one, what that means is that they're gonna lose out on anything else that could be on here, like further reading, maybe further offers, discounts, whatever else it's gonna be, so that's what I recommend there. We can keep it center. For the button fluidity, you can make it much bigger, which looks kind of obnoxious in my opinion. I'm just gonna go with fluid. Uh, margin's gonna be like where it is in terms of how high up, how high down. You can kind of play around with that. Same thing with the bottom left and right. So for the button text, click here for my number one recommendation or something. Or you can join our private Facebook group. So just for the example of this one, since it says that, to join my private FB group, okay? Font size, that's fine. We have our font type right here in subtext. You can put something like, the password is you, okay? For example, if you have a private Facebook group and you have to enter the password when it comes to entering, and if you don't have it, you can't enter. So something like that, I just made up off the top of my head. Once again, we have more subtext. We have icon uh, selector before text in case you wanna use that. So this would be for like a Facebook group. Let's see if Facebook is actually here, perfect. Just like that, okay, icon selector after text in case you wanna use one after, I think that looks fine. Background color looks blue, padding, that's more of like how it's gonna sit. Rounded corners, so if you wanna utilize that, you can really make them rounded or just like ever so slightly, but I think it was on three before, right? So I think that looks fine, right? Once again, a lot of this is going to be just like cosmetics and how it looks, oops, I clicked off of it. Let's go back down, I think we were on shadow. We were, so no shadow, so we have soft shadow. It's hard to see when it's highlighted, but we'll keep it on that. Hover effect, so it can like change colors when you hover over it. Style, what do we have for style? So zoom, this is kind of like how it flies in, it slides in, it floats in. We'll keep it on that for now. Border, in case you want to utilize that, color looks fine. We have the size of it, and of course, item visible on these aspects. Both desktop and mobile looks great. So we can save changes here. And let's just preview it very quickly. Okay, so when I click on this, we're gonna get taken to AOL and a new page. Perfect, we don't care about that. But that's gonna be how you can create a button with system.io and kind of change it around, you know, to make it to your liking, whether it's gonna be the color, the text, the style, the shadow, the border, whatever it is, it's pretty simple to do once you know where it is. And of course, you know, go from there, do your thing. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if this video helped, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.